Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can convert Dota 2 models to MDX and we're gonna start right now with the model. It's Mars Econ or Econ. I don't know how to pronounce it right. I never played Dota before but we're gonna um, import the model. There is a specific file. If you rip this model and it's only openable in Blender and what you have to do is to take the take every animation out by one by one and export it to FBX for 3ds Max and as you can see we have right now the model itself here it's a bit small that's why I'm going to scale it up oh, sorry always select here the middle and scale it up like that so and move it up a bit like that okay so then we're going to save it as save file as going to the folder from that model here and I'm going to save it as mass test yes I'm going to replace it and we need to do first and we need to take a look first at the um, edit here at the modify panel here they are all editable poly we need to change it to editable mesh by right click on the skin modifier cut it out then right click here going to editable mesh and paste it again same with the other one going to cut it out convert to editable mesh like that and paste it inside we have to do this with the next one as well cut it out convert to editable mesh and paste and the legs they are always already editable mesh we don't need to fix them but the head going to cut convert to editable mesh paste same for the hair tips going to cut convert to editable mesh paste here the hair cut convert to editable mesh paste that one's already the, the brown smoke is already editable mesh then we have the arm smoke cut convert to editable mesh paste base armor need to be cut convert to edit and mesh and paste and the armor cut convert to edit and mesh and paste okay we're going to save it again and then we have to import the stand to animation that's the only animation I can offer you right now for the tutorial go to update animation So it's not in the right position, but that's not a big problem. And what we have to do now is going to double click on the pelvis bone, go to modifier, uh, to go to animation, save animation, and we call it stand from the model. We need to take a look that we have all um, we have all frames in inside six thousand seven frames. Save yes, we're going to save it. That can take a bit. That's many frames, that's gonna take a while. I think the stand animation repeat itself the whole time. That's why you can, f uh, before you're going to export it, or I better say, save it as animation file, you can cut some things out because it's still, um, it's 
doing the same stand animation over and over again, I think four or four, five times. In that case, I want. So, in that case, I, um, I just export it as it is, and, okay, that's perfect. Good. Um. Good. We're going to open our T pose again. Our test model here, what we saved before, and now we're going to double click and we're going to animation load animation stand animation at frame 10 load but we need to make sure that we have from relative make it to absolute like that and let's import it so oh i just Selected the pelvis bone. You need, of course, to select every bone. Load animation and stand and load it. Frame 10. No. gonna take a while because the animation is so big So it's here. Let's take a look. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So to what we have to do now is bring the T pose in right position and the at, at the stand animation in the right position because as you can see it's flipped around and that's why we're going to go to our creation panel here. Then going to search for the helpers and we're going to create a grid like that, like that one. And we need to move it under the model like that. So. Okay. Then we're going to select the pelvis bone, left click on it, and drag it under the grid. Now is the grid is the main bone from the from the model. We add a keyframe here, and we add a keyframe at the beginning of the animation. Here, and we're going to make auto key on like that, and move it here at this point here so inside of the in the middle here so that's perfect and when it goes down to the animation it will go back down again but that's not the big problem I'm going to move it that one a bit up uh, I'm going to rotate it here like that to move it up like that and move it in the middle like that okay didn't hit the oh wait no that's right I didn't hit the wrong uh, right point. I need to go to 1500 and take a look at the pelvis bone or the animation. Oh, the animation begins here. Okay, at frame 10. Okay, I'm going to take the grid, 
that thing move it to frame 10. Here, so that was wrong. Okay. That's all right. Let's take a look about frame six thousand. Okay, that looks all right. And we're going to go to frame to frame from. 5000 to 5020, no, 5050, five so, and 5000. Take a look if there is the end of the animation. Make 60. Okay, that's the end of the animation. It's it's here the end anim animation. We double click it and set a keyframe for it. So as you can see, the animation is now in place, and the T pose is in place as well. And if you are not really happy with the T pose, you can also move it a bit more down like that and it won't affect the animation itself and now we can just export the model and you're done with your oh sorry here it's down in that case because i didn't create a node i have to um, export it as debug mode but if you're creating nodes like i did in my previous tutorials then you can make it in standard mode and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and now you know how to uh, convert Dota 2 models to MDX and I hope I see you in the next tutorial. Bye!